Welcome back everyone. This is a bonus video for Scarlet Lady going over New York City, my time spent there, and of course my favorite restaurants on board Scarlet Lady. So as you can see this is Times Square advertisement for Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. Kind of cool to see her in New York. And then of course there was Diplo in New York on board. So this is like the last night in New York and really only point where I got like video video um, on board Scarlet Lady. to go over my favorite eateries on board Scarlet Lady as well as Bimini that's thrown in there too. This is going from my least favorite to most favorite however this is very much a subjective list and my favorite may not be your favorite and vice versa and everything on board is really good so really you can't go wrong at any of them. I'm just going over which ones I preferred so let's dive into it. First we have the galley, which is kind of like the quick service area. So it is really tasty. There's a lot of choices. My favorite salad on board is at the galley. That's that Greek salad right there pictured. So, so good. So definitely check that out. Now we're gonna go into the beach club at Bimini. They had a lot of good stuff to eat. The only reason I put it a little lower on this list is because the portion sizes are small. However, you can keep going back and getting as much as you want, so it is unlimited. And it is really tasty, has good spice level, and yeah, I liked it overall. Now let's get into Razzle Dazzle. Really enjoyed the ravioli picture there. And then the desserts at Razzle Dazzle are to die for. Here's like the chocolate cake, and you got the churros. Oh my gosh, so good. I think Razzle has some of like the best desserts on board. Here's milk and cookies. It's it's so good and so fun. And honestly, so I went back for the brunch as you saw on my, one of my videos and the brunch at Razzle Dazzle was very good too. So brunch wise, I think Razzle like ranks towards the top for me, but like regular dining, it's um, I guess towards the middle bottom for me as far as favorites go, but really good still. Next we have The Wake, which you might be surprised is a little bit lower on my list um, because everyone raves about The Wake. Don't get me wrong, The Wake is very, very, very good. However, I feel like there's better stuff on board and so that's why it just ranks a little lower on my list. Um, the steak is good, um, the, but the sides are delicious. I think the sides even are better than the actual main course of the steak. Uh, and the dessert is pretty good too. I had a baked Alaska and it was delicious, but um, I think Razzle had better desserts overall. And I feel like there are other things on board that are not as hyped that I feel like are better. So definitely still go check out The Wake, but check out some other things as well. Don't make The Wake like your number one priority because there's definitely some other things on board that are delicious. I did not get to try the brunch at The Wake though, and I heard that's really good. So it may be really, really good for brunch. Next, let's swim over to Test Kitchen, which was my most um, anticipated restaurant. So I was dying to go to Test Kitchen because I thought it sounded really cool. And it was really cool. It did live up to my expectations as far as that goes. Each course was really delicious. Um, there was only one that I didn't really like, and it's this one here, the egg. Um, but I'm not really a huge fan of eggs to begin with, and I really don't like peas either. So it's like two ingredients that I don't like. So that's why it wasn't really good for me. And honestly, that's kind of why I ranked it a little lower because this one course wasn't really good. But everything else was delicious to me. Um, I did hear some mixed reviews on this, so keep that in mind. Next, we have Pink Agave, which is the elevated Mexican on board. Um, I really like the enchiladas, so good. Guacamole, can't go wrong. Um, they were really great starters. And then we have the Pescado, which is really tasty and kind of lighter, so it was really good to have after a long day on Bimini. 
chocolate tacos really good. So that's why Pico Gabe ranks towards the higher end. All right, now it's time for gumbe, which is delicious. So good, it's really fun. You have all these things that you cook in the middle there. It's interactive, you get to talk to people at your table. I love gumbe, it was so tasty, so great. And I uh, can't really say anything bad about it. You all know extra virgin was my favorite. It is so tasty. Every course, everything was perfect. I didn't have like anything that I didn't like. It was so good. Um, and definitely you can share like the pastas and make those kind of like a second course. And then the steak was well cooked. And oh my God, the affogato was so tasty too. So extra virgin by far is my favorite restaurant on board. Anyways, that's it for my Scarlet Lady videos for now. I hope you enjoyed my Hannah Party of One adventure on this voyage and also a little bit of New York thrown in there too. And um, catch me next time. Um, I will be going to Disney soon as well as hopefully going on another Virgin Voyage in the future. See you next time. Like, comment, subscribe.